This is the Echelon EX Prime and I ordered it on Amazon for $499 earlier this week and it arrived at my front door with free shipping just three days later and I built it in 15 minutes and in the next few minutes I'm going to show you everything I know about the Echelon EX Prime and how it compares to our popular and highly rated Echelon Connect Sport. At first glance, you may think these two indoor cycling bikes are the same, but they're not. And I'm going to show you what's different and what's the same and which bike I'd recommend if you're in the market to buy an indoor cycling bike to get a Peloton experience at a fraction of the cost. As you may already know, we've had the Walmart variation of the Echelon bike for the past two months now. And it's been a great way to get our foot in the door and test the waters of indoor cycling in our home. And for a price of $500, this bike offers a great value, which is what's made it so popular. But one of the main problems with this Echelon bike is actually being able to get one because it's sold out so often. I've been keeping an eye on the Amazon listing and it hasn't been sold out yet, but you can click the link in the description box below this video to see if it's still in stock or if the pricing has changed or what the current shipping times are. So right away, I want to tell you there are two main differences in these indoor cycling bikes. The handlebars and the resistance knobs on each of these bikes are different, and I have to say the Echelon EX Prime is my preferred bike of the two. I'll tell you more about the two big differences in just a moment, but first let's take a closer look at some of the minor cosmetic changes and what's exactly the same. From a distance, both bikes look very similar, but as you look closer, you'll start to notice the differences. One of the first differences you'll notice on the Amazon EX Prime Echelon bike is the tail end. It has a different design to it, and it has a smaller footprint by a little bit. The next thing you might notice is the color of the plastic covers by the pedals. They're just a different color, but it's the same plastic materials. Also, the color of the flywheel blades is different. They're red on the Walmart variation, where the Amazon EX Prime Echelon Connect bike has a more subtle, muted gray color blades on the flywheel. But the big differences in the Amazon Echelon EX Prime bike is the handlebar style, the feel, the height, and the width of the mount. And then also, these bikes do have different resistance knobs, and the Echelon EX Prime's resistance knob, I will say I like it better and I'll show you more on that in just a moment. So why would I buy the Amazon Echelon EX Prime if it's so similar to the Walmart Echelon bike? Well, I saw the Echelon Connect Prime pop up on Amazon out of the blue and there's not really any information on the internet about this bike whatsoever. So I decided to buy it to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these two bikes to see if there's any differences and help you decide if it's for you. So all I ask from you is if you find the information in this video helpful, please click the like button because it helps this channel out a lot. So what's the same about the Walmart variation of this Echelon bike versus the Amazon variation of this Echelon bike? Well, the seat appears to be the exact same. The adjustment knobs appear to be exactly the same. The geometry of the bike itself appears to be exactly the same. The same pedals are on each bike, although we did put on these clip-in style pedals on our bike because it makes for a nicer riding experience. I can tell you more about that in just a moment. They both have the same rolling wheels, so you can easily uh, reposition your bike to a different location and roll it around easily. They both have the same adjustable rubber feet on the bottom of the bike that allow you to adjust for imperfections in the flatness of your floor if it's not perfectly flat. And both bikes have the same exact connectivity. You just download the Echelon app and you connect to the bike via Bluetooth. So largely these two bikes are very similar, but there are some improvements on the new Amazon version of the Echelon bike. And I'll show you those in just one moment. And also down in the description box, I'll put a link to the Echelon EX Prime Connect bike. So if you wanna buy it, It'd really help out this channel if you buy your uh, Echelon EX Prime through the link down in the description box here. It really support this channel. What are the benefits of buying a bike with no screen? Peloton is by far the most popular and well-known brand for indoor cycling, but dropping $1,895 for the standard model Peloton bike or $2,495 for the Peloton Bike Plus is a lot of money compared to $499.99. 
Not only is a Peloton bike more expensive, it also costs an additional $39 per month to use the all access membership on the bike itself. However, if you buy a Echelon bike, you can do the same Peloton classes by signing up for the Peloton digital membership, which is only $12.99 a month. All you need to do is attach your own tablet to the Echelon bike and you can play the classes from the Peloton app. But please be sure to double check the current prices of all the numbers I'm saying here in this video because at the time of the recording, this is what the prices are. But there does seem to be an increase in competition in the marketplace, so we may see some prices change over time. And by the time you're watching this video, the prices may have changed. So also, alternatively, there are many other options available if you buy an indoor cycling bike that doesn't have a screen attached to it because you can do any spin class you'd like. Some options include the new Apple Fitness Plus, which is coming out here very soon, and that will be $9.99 a month. And also Echelon itself has a variety of app subscriptions at various prices. Or you can simply pull up a class on YouTube and follow along with instructors offering free videos, or you don't even need to use a screen whatsoever. You can just get on this bike and just start riding. So really buying a Echelon bike without a screen, you have a lot of flexibility because you can use a screen you already have and you're not locked into any proprietary software. So, you know, some of these bikes do have bugs. I've seen a lot of information on the internet, some Echelon bikes and other brands too. They have little bugs and corks that are causing problems in the software. But if you buy an Echelon bike that does not have a screen, this prevents you from running into any of those built-in hardware and software issues that may arise in buying a bike that has a screen on it already. So largely the Amazon Echelon EX Prime and the Echelon Connect Sport are very similar, but there are two main mechanical differences and they are the handlebars and the resistance knob. So let me cut over to some video clips and show you some observations that I've made that these are really the two big differences in the two bikes the actual resistance knob on each of them. They look very, very, very similar, but they are not the same. This is the Echelon Connect Sport resistance knob. And if you listen to it, it has a plasticky kind of rubbing sound to it. And I noticed it feels kind of more like a toy compared to the Amazon EX Prime. Listen to this one. It has a nicer feel and it's more silent. First thing I notice is this one. You, you can turn it all the way to the right and it will not lock up on you. It reaches the end and you can still pedal. In order to like hit the brake and lock up the pedals, you push it down on the stop. That's getting pretty hard. And one more turn, 31, and the max is 32. So we're at 32. This is the max resistance of this bike. It's pretty difficult. I can't imagine doing this for too long. But the thing to note, that got me winded real quick. The thing to note is um, on this bike, it will stop at 32 and it won't lock up the flywheel on the front. Now, the major difference between the resistance knob on the Echelon EX Prime versus the Echelon Connect Sport is you can physically, if you turn it past 32, it will put on the mechanical brake the same way as pushing it in almost. So watch this, I'm on 32. And it's locking it up. I can't pedal that anymore. So that is one big difference in the way these two bikes work. Drivetrain wise, could you feel a difference at all between like the way the Echelon Connect Sport versus the Echelon 
Yeah. Like, I don't think there's a difference. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Feel the knobs. Compare side by side the knobs. This knob feels better. It does feel better. I don't know why though. Right, turn that one. Yeah, this one has like just kind of been like difficult. Like this one's way easier. And that one, like sometimes it'll take like a full turn to go up like two not like two resistance levels. And sometimes it's like that's upper resistance level. Interesting. And you didn't notice that with this one on your first Right, side. no, this one's like really smooth. It's like mm -hmm. probably almost like a quarter turn. I did notice that this one, it just, it feels better turning and it's more silent. Or this one kind of feels like a toy and has like a plasticky noise. These handlebars are a total different shape. Well, not total different shape, but they are definitely different handlebars. So what you might not be able to notice in this video is these handlebars are a little bit wider, about an inch wider. The Echelon EX Prime has a slightly nicer feel to them. Echelon EX Prime actually has this little lip to it, which will give your tablet or smartphone a better chance to not get knocked off of the handlebars as compared to this flat um, little bar right here on the Echelon Connect Sport. Okay, that's a good point, yeah. If you hit the top, it kind of... So it does just kind of like seat belted in. The handlebar height on the Amazon Echelon EX Prime Connect, they're actually a little bit higher. Then again, you know, you can lower them down, so it's not a huge deal. The maximum height you can raise the handlebars on the Echelon EX Prime is about an inch and a half higher than on the Echelon Connect Sport. 42 and 3 fourths. But out here, like on the edge, it's like 42 and a quarter. Let me turn that off real quick. Now coming over here to the Echelon EX Prime, we're at 43 on the outside and it's pretty much like flat across so 43 right at 43 about 43 coming around here I mean 40 over 44 44 and a quarter So, I mean, the handlebars are a little bit higher when you have it on the maximum height. So this is on max, and it has one through max. Now over here on the Connect Sport, also on max. Like Maybe this angle shows it. feel nicer and I like that they're like I don't know I just they have a nicer feel for sure I like the way these are I like this position that I don't get over there but oh, I, miss, I didn't like, even this think about position. that you can you can grab there too because yeah. this bar is not there but on this one can you use this I do yeah oh you can yeah okay but this one you wish had a flat spot down here yeah, it would be cool if it were like more kind of squared off or if it had that bar so that you can just kind of... Yeah. But I do like this position, which is more like flat. You can kind of get that here, but you're like up. Right. So, I don't know. I But I mainly just go here. I'm yeah, most of the time you're right here. And I notice like when you're out of the saddle, saddle sometimes you're up here on the ends. I'm usually put my palm yeah. at the top and then or sometimes I'll like put my thumbs here mm -hmm. okay so to sum it all up the Amazon Echelon EX Prime bike seems to be a slightly improved version of the Walmart Echelon bike with a quicker shipping time and it's actually in stock 
Again, you can click the link below this video in the description box and you can see what the current price is and availability and the shipping times to your area are on the official Amazon listing. When I ordered mine, it came in three days, which is about as quickly as you can expect anything to ship, much less a heavy piece of exercise equipment. So if I were trying to decide between these two Echelon bikes, I'd choose the Echelon EX Prime for the handlebars and the improved resistance knob and the simplicity of ordering on Amazon, which I'm a little biased to because I just like Amazon and Amazon Prime, and also the quicker shipping time ordering it from Amazon. If you do buy the Amazon Echelon EX Prime and you need some help building it or you want a closer look at it, browse my channel for some other videos on the Echelon EX Prime and you can learn more about the bike. And I hope this video has helped you. If it has helped you and you learned something new in this video, please click on the like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time.